The atontonometer measures intraocular pressure through the eyelid. Manual. The tonometer has an ergonomic plastic body. The tip is intended to fix the tonometer at the eyeball on the upper eyelid during intraocular pressure measurement and allow to eliminate damping properties of the eyelid. There is a free moving rod inside the tonometer which interacts in fall with the elastic surface of the eyeball by the eyelid in the area of the sclera corresponding to corona ciliaris. The operation button controls the tonometer's operating modes. Tonometers turning on and off. Automated receiving of indication of IOP result of several measurings. Averaging. The telemetry result appears on the display. Before each measuring, you should get it to functioning position. Take the tonometer in hand, being turned with its tip downwards, with the rod seen in the tip area. Turn the tonometer up towards fluently, the rod will go inside and fixes inside the tonometer. Return the tonometer fluently without quick movements in the position with its tip downwards. The rod must be fixed inside the tonometer. Its initial position for the rod to start measuring. Press the operation button for a short moment. The symbol of four zeros appears on the display and a short sound signal is heard. The tonometer is ready for work. If the thermometer is held with its tip downwards not strictly vertically, a pulsing sound signal of the thermometer position indicator is heard. The measurings can be made only in vertical position of thermometer when the pulsing signal is absent. If you turn on the thermometer when the rod is not fixed inside the body, the 40 symbol is being displayed in a pulse mode. Put the rod into correct position. Intraocular pressure measuring is possible in a sitting and in the reclining position. For getting valid data of IOP in dynamics, the measuring must be made in the same position of the patient. The patient's head must be placed horizontally. If the measurement is made in a sitting position, the patient's head must be placed horizontally on the head support. If the head support is absent, settle the patient on the chair rest with his back tight to the back of a chair, place his head horizontally. If it is the first measurement of IOP by Viaton tonometer for the patient, it is recommended to demonstrate to the patient the tonometer's painless effect, for instance, on the finger's pad. Place the patient's head horizontally and fix the patient's glance at the angle of 45 degrees vertical using the patient's finger as the test object. Using the finger of a free hand, stretch the patient's upper lid so that the edge of the upper lid fits with the limb. Don't stretch the eyelid and don't press the eyeball. If necessary, to correct the eyeball position, move the test object. Fix steady and hold the eyelid in the correct position during the measuring. Take the tenometer correct, that will make the measurement valid. Put the tenometer's tip on the eyelid close to the ciliary edge. The unit's symmetry axis fits the center of the eyeball. Set the tenometer in vertical position. The pulse signal is absent carefully put the tonometer down. When the rod falls on the eyelid, you will hear the short sound signal. The rod's influence zone is situated on the part of sclera corresponding to the corona ciliaris. Fixing the eyelid in a correct position makes several measurings until the long signal is heard. The intraocular pressure measurement of the eye is over. Press the operation button to get the measurement result. If the nometer's display has symbol A and IOP indication, the result is valid.
If symbol A and IOP indication are passing, the result is approximate. The A to zero symbol on display shows hard mistakes in measuring method. In this case, repeat the measuring procedure following all the rules. In the process of measuring, the display shows the order number of a single measuring and its result is saved automatically in memory of the nometer. Depending on the precision of following the method, the measurements series may contain from 2 to 6 measurements. Two long sound signals mean that you have finished a series of 6 measurings. During the intraocular pressure measuring by the tonometer diaton, there is a possibility of some typical mistakes. Mistake. Incorrect tonometer's position on the eyelid. The tip is placed behind the ciliary edge of the eyelid for more than 1 mm, is placed not tightly to the ciliary edge. Correct. The tip is placed up to the front rib of the upper eyelid without touching the eyelashes. Mistake. Incorrect eyelid's position during the measuring. Possible. The edge of the eyelid gets to the cornea in the moment of measuring. The edge of the eyelid is above the corneal line. The eyelid's pulling out while pulling it strongly. Correct. Fit correctly the upper eyelid when the limb edge fits the eyelid by your finger in the moment of measuring.